Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be starting episode 7 in our series of the Catacombs, uh, where we do deep dives into specific detour edits and kind of guide you along the way. And today's topic is going to be a pretty quick one, but it's all about adding a custom NPC to your map. Um, so if you guys are enjoying the content, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, but with that out of the way, let's roll right into it. Um, so uh, as I mentioned, this is going to be a pretty big pretty quick video um, and part of the reason for that is frankly there's still a lot of the columns that I don't know what they do um, I haven't put much time into testing it uh, so obviously if you know you figure it out and you beat me to the punch um, awesome uh, feel free to share it in our discord we'd love to hear about it um, but with that said let's go ahead and just roll right into it um, so if we go into data global Excel um, we're going to see uh, that there's some template files included in the Excel folder. Um, so we're actually going to grab those out and put them into our Excel folder. And these are going to be what we use to add our custom NPC. Um, so the first thing we'll do is just rename it. So we're going to remove the dot template and just change it to dot text because um, that's all these files are really. And the first file we're we'll open is just going to be the custom NPCs dot text. Um, so just as the file name might suggest, um, this is going to allow you to define any custom NPCs that you may want to use in the game. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and close some of this here, and we're going to open up monstats.txt. If you've been following uh, with us along with our previous videos, um, you've seen that we re-edited, uh, or I'm sorry, we cloned and kind of edited our own monster, um, and we gave it the name of NPC Demo. Um, so under this class column, that's what we're going to put here is the monster name. Um, and now we can also specify what file it's going to use um, for all of its text. Um, so we could leave it custom gossip, custom gossip table, which would pull from this file here. Um, but just to kind of show you how it works, we're just going to name this demo NPC. Um, and sure, we can add gossip at the end if we want. Um, so this is how we know, we'll just change it to match the monster name. Um, we'll just, this is how we know exactly what monster that's for, for future reference. Um, and then again, a lot of these columns, um, you know, they're semi-explanatory, um, self-explanatory, um, but I haven't done like actual testing just to rule them out or whatnot. Um, so feel free to mess around with those some, uh, but that's all we're gonna do here. Update our monster name, update our uh, gossip file name and save. Um, now, just as we did here, we renamed that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just rename this to NPC Demo Gossip. So it pulls the correct one. And then we'll go ahead and open this and start editing that. Um, so this one's also gonna be a really simple edit. Um, basically the only thing we care about because I don't know what all these different functions do yet um, is the string ID. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just make two different strings. Um, and that way you can kind of see how you can talk to your NPC or I'm sorry, how your NPC can talk using dialogue and stuff like that. Um, so for that, we're gonna go back to cast. We're gonna go to data, local, language, strings, and we're gonna grab vo.json. Um, that's gonna be the file we edit for all our uh, kind of NPC dialogue. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just pull that out, open it up, and uh, just like a lot of the other string changes, um, we're just going to copy like your last reference here and uh, just duplicate it and make our changes. Um, so we're going to go ahead and use something, an ID like 56,006, and then we'll make this one 56,007. Um, and uh, we don't really care about the keys. Um, if you're going to be adding like sound effects, uh, you know, maybe audio and stuff to your NPC, um, you're going to need to reference these keys later. Um, but for now, we're just going to call it key one and key two just so... Um, you know, you're aware we don't uh, need to worry about that for now and just kind of keep it separate. Um, for the actual translation, this we care about. Um, so this is going to be the different, um, obviously, text, op text options and stuff that are available. Um, so you can put whatever you want here. We're going to get super long-winded um, and just put this. So we'll do introduction text and gossip text. So you can kind of see some of the differences, but that's all we're going to do. Just add our new definitions with our new IDs. And this is what we're going to reference in our MPC, uh, you know, demo uh, text here. So again, that was 56,006. We're going to leave this zero here. Uh, we want a empty row 
in between our two entries. Um, I don't know why it's set up like that. It just seems to be. So uh, just go ahead and just do that. Um, so again, here are your two entries separated by a kind of blank empty one. Um, so we're going to go ahead and save that, and that's it. Um, other than just a quick edit on our monster um, so that we can turn it into an NPC. Um, so if we go back to our monstats folder here, and we're going to lock this top row and lock the side. And we're just looking for two columns, the NPC column, which is right here. So we want to put a one in this to tell the game it is an NPC. And then we also want to put a one in the interact column to tell it that we do want to interact with it. Um, now, because we are uh, turning it into an NPC, um, one thing that happens automatically is it's going to look in a different folder for our enemy now. Um, so again, you might remember from our previous video, we have our uh, you know uh, monster information currently stored in HD character enemy, and there's our demo. Um, but now, because we just changed it to an NPC type, it's going to look in HD character NPC um, for that file. Um, so we're going to just move that over here um, and uh, get that taken care of. All right, so now it's moved over into our NPC folder, so we're ready to start the game again. Um, so just a quick recap, all we've done is um, drag out those two template files and rename them to .text, uh, fill in both our monster information as well as uh, the string information from vo.json, and once we have that all combined um, in a you know a monster capable of being an NPC, um, we should be able to see that when we go to our new level here. So we're going to go find our special warp building that we made in a previous episode, and uh, we'll go through the door entrance there. Whoops. So you can see our little warp building here. We're going to come in. There's our NPC. It's correctly showing up again now that we moved it to that NPC folder. And I can click it, I can select talk, and we can get our introduction text that we put in. We can get our gossip text that we put in. Um, and again, this is just controlled by the uh, vo.json file that you edited. Um, so obviously, if you want like actual text, um, feel free to put it in there. Um, the only other thing you'll need to know is that if you want to control scroll speed, you can put a number in front of your text. Um, I don't know the exact uh definition for like how fast for example 51 is um i don't know if it's 51 words a second or you know what it uses that for uh, but anyways you can see um at the beginning of your long uh, dialogue messages from npc they're going to have different numbers here and that is just for this file and just to show again how fast that scroll speed is um, so if you want it faster or slower um, just go ahead and, you know, put that in front of your text. Um, but unfortunately, again, I do not know the exact uh, qualifier for that. Um, so you might have to just play a little bit with the value to see, um, you know, exactly the, the, the stat you need. Um, but that's essentially it. Um, so you can customize your NPC and uh, have it doing stuff you want. Um, I would not expect to be able to add, uh, you know, like custom vendors and stuff like that. I'm sure that stuff's hard coded out the wazoo, um, but we definitely might be able to, uh, you know, unlock some more with quest filters and stuff um, as we figure out what they do. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this quicker video and thanks for sticking around to the end. Take care. Bye-bye.